Today we're going to add what we learned last week about value to an actual drawing. So we're going to create a pumpkin. It can be a jack-o-lantern, but we're going to create a pumpkin today. Do not grab your pencil and start to draw a circle. Pumpkins are not circles. Pumpkins are, are, are organic. So they have shape. It is not just a ball. It's bumpy. Usually there's a little texture there. It's uneven at the bottom. So please do not just draw a circle. I won't be happy if I see that. So we're going to try to draw a pumpkin today. I would like for you to use your paper in a portrait direction. That means tall and thin. Toward the bottom, I want you to start with an oval. Do not draw tiny. You want to make it big enough that we have something to work with. So start with an oval. On each side of that, we are going to add what looks like a C and then a backward C. These do not have to be perfectly identical. Pumpkins are, are organic, which means that they are not totally 100% symmetrical. So if it's not perfect, it's okay. In fact, some get damaged in growth, and they certainly are perfect. We're going to add another one on, in, on each side. Again, I'm not looking for something to look perfect. We want it to be organic, so a little off looks actually more realistic than you trying to be perfect. We're going to add a stem on there. I am not looking for a square. I am not looking for a, a rectangle. Pumpkins are organic, so we don't want it to look absolutely perfect. If it does, we haven't done our best. Then we're going to add along the back the little bit of the top of the pumpkin that we would see. So it now has started to look a little bit more three-dimensional. It's not just quite so flat because we can see this front section. We're also seeing what's behind our stem. If you really want to give it more texture, you could add a little bit of definition to that stem as well. All right, we're going to stop there and get that part done.